Okay, so I've created a segment for you today. Okay. That's called, um, I'm not totally 100% Should we do an intro? This is how my channel works, John. No, I've, I've seen your videos. <laughs> hey, hey, cheers. Cheers. To It's Grace. It's Grace. The Yay. best YouTube channel ever. Hooray. Mmm. Oh, beer is delicious. Which brings me to the name of this segment. It's called Brutally Honest. Oh, brew. Oh, I see. It's a pun. Yeah, because I... I'm just, Do you ever spend time with Hannah Hart no, or Mamrie? No. Oh, okay. They seem like they're just one giant period <laughs> of a time. Um, <laughs> that wasn't a good pun. No, it wasn't at all. That's why I should be spending more time with them. So, okay. I like your eyes. The... Oh, yeah. It's very... Uh, my New Jersey is coming out a lot more with my age in that I'm putting more and more black eyeliner on. It's... Did you just say that my nude jersey is coming out more and more? I mean... That would be the title of my porn, would be New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> that has to exist somewhere. Yeah. I'm so excited. I mean, the best thing about having the Fault in Our Stars movie come out is yeah. that it dramatically increases the chance that there will be a Fault in Our Stars porn parody. <gasps> what would it be called? I don't know. I'm not very good at puns. Oh, no. We're going to have to, actually, I think the porn companies are now hiring Mamrie. To oh, I'm sure. Movies. Yeah, she's yeah. going through storyboards right now. Uh, now I'm so distracted. <laughs> panic! Panic! Okay, anyway, so this segment is basically just I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions and you be as honest as you want about them. Okay. Did you know prior to your wife having a child that women like shit themselves while they have birth? They don't always. Well, probably like always. They don't always. But like. No, they don't always. Every woman that has had a child is like. Nope. Put it all out there. Nope. Okay. Lots of times, not so you always. So two, so the percentage of her having that experience is up to math sense. Um. Did you know this, though, prior to your wife having a child? Uh, that was Sarah's, like, number one anxiety going into <laughs> delivery. More than, more than having to push a child out of, out of her special place. Yeah. Uh, was this thought of... Of potentially, of yes. more. Of so more. she was very anxious about it, and everything worked out better than expected. Okay, well, that's great. I'm happy for her and for you. Um, because I just imagine, like, I I fortunately m uh, missed the Miracle of Life video in my CCD class yeah. when I was in, like, sixth grade. Yeah. So I'd, I've never seen childbirth happen except on, like, TLC sometimes. Sure. And, yeah, they conveniently left that information out. I only learned this, like, six months ago. It's very like, upsetting for you. <laughs> you and Sarah both I was it's, already like I no. kept telling her it's not a big deal there's gonna be so much other weird stuff happening that, you're not even gonna feel it and doctors see it all the time one well, the do, doctor sure. is looking at your vagina to begin with so that's yeah. already very exposing um, I didn't know we were gonna start there well, I, thought we were, I thought we were gonna talk about my movie no this okay, is not good. about your movie at Perfect. all whatsoever. let's not talk about it I don't, I'm not I've talked about it for like three weeks straight I, I don't don't even mention it June I've, 6th June 6th <laughs> yay Five days after my mother's birthday. Happy birthday to Grace's mother. Wait five days to celebrate, <laughs> then go to the movies. Got it. Um, no, I figure you've been talking about it for so long. Correct. And I have not talked about pooping on the delivery table a single time. Yay! People are always like, what question haven't I asked? And from now on, I'm going to be like, you have to ask me about pooping on the delivery table yeah. once. Yeah, how dare you? What kind of reporter are you? Seriously. I, I just like feel like my interview skills are like above and beyond. Yeah. what a normal interviewer would offer. Correct. Yeah, so along those lines, what do you honestly think about Beyonce? Uh, I'm a massive Beyonce fan. Are you? I think that she is one of the five or six most important people in the history of the world. Oh. I would say like uh, Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, um, whoever invented fire. Yeah. Um, Cleopatra. Mm-hmm. Beyonce. And Beyonce. Yeah. You're I not a Beyonce fan? No, I love Beyonce. She's just, I... Couldn't. I'm also scared, what if she watches this and she finds out what she if you say something negative time. about her? Does she? she she's a big It's Grace fan. Yeah, she's... I'm not surprised. She she's likes, got great taste. I know, except for her documentary. She vlogged in that documentary. Did you ever watch it? Mm -mm. Um, she's not a good vlogger? No, she edited the whole documentary herself. Mm -hmm. Not a good vlogger. One poor head position in mm, Does she go too low on the screen like this? No, she gets too close. So oh, it's yeah. Like, I do that sometimes where I get really, really, really close. <laughs> Is that not good? I thought that was good. No, it's good, but it was like the whole time. And then she just didn't use jump cuts the way like jump cuts could be helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and also there was just, I turned off the documentary halfway through at the part where her and Jay-Z are on a yacht. 
and there's just a, foot, a, a clip of Jay-Z holding a camera and he just pushes it into her eye and then pulls it back out and like she had the most like artistic music behind it and I was like nope I'm out <laughs> on the cooking channel <laughs> it was tough um, but I do think Beyonce is a wonderful wonderful performer and sometimes when I want to be inspired I rewatch her performance where she told Jay-Z that she was pregnant oh my god wasn't that beautiful that was beautiful but then you know what happened nine months later she shit on a table somewhere I didn't say it Beyonce like and subscribe Beyonce okay <laughs> Here's a question. What job do you never want your child to have? Okay, so you know how some people jump out of airplanes and then they, they use the parachutes? Right. Do you know how the people, like if you haven't jumped out of an airplane before, you are tied to a person? Oh yeah, the tandem. A professional uh, parachute jumper? Yes. I do not want my child ever to be a professional parachute jumper. That's an excellent answer. Yeah. That's an excellent, excellent answer. You've thought about this. Uh, the other thing is that I don't ever want to um, skydive because that would mean that I was tied to someone who's a professional parachute jumper and I don't trust their career choices. No, I don't trust them getting a boner midair. Oh, God. And then there's I never you can went do there. About and you're it. stuck there for like four minutes. Yeah, and yeah. you're one experiencing complete fear and then and euphoria and then it's just ruined. Also, oh, I don't know. I mean, in some ways, it's more fear and more euphoria. I mean, I guess it would take your mind off the fact that you could die. You'd be like, this is, what? What's happening? Hey, I, I hope that's a carabiner. <laughs> I hope that's just one of the hooks that came loose. <laughs> I, hope that's, I hope that's the parachute not, not deploying. <laughs> What's a YouTube video you wish you never saw? Oh, there's a lot of them. Really? Like what? Um, a lot of the, um, the, the animals eating animals. Oh, what? Where you're just like unexpected snake eats a crocodile. No, that's a subgenre I have not explored. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm I'm not very keen on the, uh, the 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 gigantic guns blowing up the gigantic watermelons or whatever. Oh, oh, I you're thought you're kind of into that. No, I mean, no, I don't like guns. Period. I saw one by accident where a guy shot himself in the knee. No, how? that was upsetting. That it, well, you know, just don't. Put a gun in your pocket. And that dr dramatically increases your chances of not shooting yourself in the knee. His potential NBA career. No. <laughs> I know. I know. So sad. Yeah. What's um, one that you wish that you'd never seen? Glass in the ass. What? Yeah. Don't. Don't. Is that what it sounds like? Uh, you know who showed me? Tyler Oakley. How has that not been taken off? Uh, I think that we actually watched it on another website because it wasn't allowed on YouTube. But a long story short, or, oh, seemingly super long video short, a guy puts a, pe a glass. A cup up his butthole and it breaks inside. Oh his. God! <laughs> and panic. You know the movie. Panic. You know the movie. There will be blood. <laughs> oh God! Oh, oh that oh, was blood. Panic. I know. Panic. I wish I, I am, never I... saw it. <sighs> okay. Grace, this put our friendship in real danger just by the fact that you mentioned that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I liked this... you a lot until then. Okay. You know what? You, you know to... what? Um, what video doesn't feature anything like that? What? The Fall of Next Stars movie coming out on June 6th in theaters everywhere. <laughs> no one dares to put a glass in their ass in that movie. Um, no, it's a movie about different kinds of disabilities. Okay, this got too serious. <laughs> if you really want a good time, meatloaf farts. What are you talking about? I don't want to have it. Meatloaf farts. That's exactly what it sounds like. Women farting naked on meatloaf. <laughs> it is not on YouTube. No. This is definitely not on YouTube. Uh, well, no. There's a whole website called CakeFarts.com. This is like the one, the branch off from it. So there's cake farts where women fart on cake, and then they branch off and they also fart on meatloaf. Some people sometimes you get curious. Okay, how many fingers do you think we need? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm very, I'm deeply upset mm -hmm. about the meatloaf fart situation. You well, just want to move on to fingers. Yeah, I mean the the most upsetting thing is like there are children that are starving that would have loved that meatloaf. Six. I think we need six <laughs> fingers. Yeah. Six what on one think? hand. Or no, six? three total. Three on each hand. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like. Because then I could I could still write and I could do most of the things I, I like to do. I could still text. Yeah, you could text and hold your phone and I think you'd be fine with six. So don't these two are the op these are the optional ones at the end. But then what becomes the wedding finger? Oh yeah, that's right. a big concern for you. <laughs> yeah, hugely yeah. concerned. By the way, Grace is engaged. I'm engaged in conversation right now. With so John Green, whose movie The Fall of Their Stars comes out on June 6th. <laughs> Would you rather have no arms or no legs? Mm. Yeah, right? No arms. No arms? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. What about you? I don't like to let myself think about this. Well, then why did you ask me the question? <laughs> because I could. Um, I would think, mm, but think of all the things you can do with arms. Think of all the things you can do with legs. 
but I would get two robot legs because science is very advanced these days. Well, if you can get robot, that, that changes the hypothetical completely. True. And no legs. Okay, well, but also, like, I see those jazzy chair commercials. Not what? familiar. Oh, jazzy chair is a, it's trying to make a wheelchair more fun. And it is invented, no lie, by a man named Tom Cruise. And he, he starts... Is it the same Tom Cruise? <laughs> no! That guy is just so versatile. I know. No, it, may, it might be. In which case, I'd say brilliant acting. Uh, but the, the commercial is introduced by a guy that says, Hello, I'm Tom Cruise, the creator of the Jazzy Chair. But he's not the same Tom Cruise? <laughs> not at all. I, also, I always feel so bad for people named like Lance Armstrong or Beyonce Knowles or whatever. Like, yeah. It would just be so hard. It, but, or like Oprah. Oprah Winfrey? Yeah. The, uh, like the second Oprah Winfrey? It's Speak brutal. Ugh, that would be terrible. Yeah. Speaking of... So hard to Google yourself when you're the other Oprah. <laughs> I know. That's going to be the name of my television show. The other Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> you can have your own Gale. Oh, Hannah yeah. Hart's going to play yeah. your Gale. Yeah, my Gale, played by Hannah Hart. Um, speaking of uh, Oprah and the YouTube videos, have you ever seen Oprah making water? Have I? Have you? No. <gasps> it's a 10-minute looped clip from The Color Purple where Oprah's peeing in a hole. <laughs> it's just looped for 10 minutes of her peeing in a hole in the ground. <laughs> it's really good. I'm just giving you an educational experience. Today. I guess so. Yeah, there's a whole <laughs> world that I didn't know about. Thank you for this. Oh, oh, if you really want a good like subgenre of YouTube videos, I, YouTube. I don't think I do. You do want this one. Um, it's men falling off boats. <laughs> that sounds great, yeah, actually. It's really I great. love it when people fall off boats. It's great. Oh, wait, are they all okay? They're all fine. Okay, I'm and concerned about their safety. No, it's always like them with one foot on a dock and one foot on a boat, and the boat starts to pull away, and then they have a moment. <laughs> oh, then they go, they do the splits. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. But you see their That's moment. Cool. Like you can there see. is nothing funnier than watching other people s suffer non-serious injuries. F falling down, I realize it's like my, when someone says, like, what's the funniest thing to you in the world? Falling down. Strangers who fall. Stra anyone that falls. Or even someone like, I love. Like when Sarah, <laughs> when Sarah, there's a there's a there's a secret step in our house that causes us both to fall at least once a week. Okay. Um, and when Sarah falls on that step, she just every time she's just, just you know she's mid air and she's just stunned and she doesn't know what to do and she's trying to catch, she's just trying to get her legs out from under and it's beautiful and I just I can't help but laugh and then I'm like, are you all right? Yeah. But I, know. I just it's so enjoyable. I, oh, it's That's really why great. we've never gotten the step fixed. Oh yeah, you need it it's in just, your life. Yeah, it's good for our marriage. I think that it's that's true. Um, I fall all the time. I'm just a clumsy person by nature. Yeah. I have this image in my head of my mom when I was in like fifth or sixth grade. I got a pogo stick and my mom went to use it for the first time and she jumped once and then just <laughs> completely <laughs> fell. <laughs> and it has burned oh. in my brain forever. It's beautiful. Oh, it's really great. Um, do you have, do you remember your, or what is your first childhood memory? Uh, I remember eating. I remember having my. This is terrible. I remember having my face pushed in the, uh, uh, in the in the ground in the playground and being made to eat dirt when oh. I was five. Wow. Yeah. Do you remember the person that did that to you? I do. Do you wish them? No, things? I mean no, because they were five. <laughs> yeah. I once like said something nasty about someone who'd bullied me in uh, in elementary school, and they wrote me a really great letter. And the the one of the lines in the letter has always stuck with me, which is, "I'm really sorry that I was mean to you in elementary school, but I was nine. What's your excuse?" <gasps> wow. Which is so true. Like yeah. it is really hard to be nine, no matter what. So yeah. you can't judge people for being nine. For having an underdeveloped brain. Yeah, it's hard. Oh, that is very true. I know. I was really mean to a girl that made fun of one of my videos once on Tumblr and then she shut down her Tumblr and I felt so awful. Yeah, what you realize is that those, it, it's really easy to dehumanize people on the internet. It's really hard to remember that everybody is a person. Yeah, that's, I know. Now when I look at negative comments, I just realize like, oh, there's clearly something that's sad in their life that they're yeah. going through that I should not even try it, to communicate with. It's totally possible that this is not actually about me. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's so hard to understand that there are things in the world that aren't about me. But there are, there's a bunch of them. I know. I was thinking about painting my walls the other day, but then I realized that all my walls are just mirrors. And that would be... Whoa! <laughs> That's beautiful, Grace. Thank you. That made me feel a little something on the inside. Just like the Thanks. Fall in Our Stars movie will make you feel something on June 6th. I heard that. That was the last one. What's that? That was the last one. That, that was great, the last plug. I, uh, that was basically the last question. No way! Yeah. Oh, now I'm sad. I thought you were going to ask me how many toes you need. How many? None, I don't think. 
really? You'd fall forward all the time, and but then that'd be great because you'd be like just a human clown and giving everyone joy. Thanks for watching. It's great. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have anything else to say? No, I love that ending. Great. <laughs> Fall their stars, June six, at a theater near you. You will weep, says Hannah Hart. <laughs> <laughs> Via text message yesterday. <laughs> I wept. I know. Oh. Bring tissues.